Thank you very much, Excellency Errol Charles, Acting Governor General, Deputy Prime Minister, and Ministers in the Cabinet, Senators. Let me recognize um, the Honorable Jeremiah Norbert's family, Father Setut, and in a special way, the President of the Council for the Disabled, Mr. Marifus James. Could you give me a hand? Give me a long first hand, please. <laughs> the government of St. Lucia seeks to enhance its crime reduction strategies through legislative and other means, including improving the efficiency of the legal and criminal justice system. The government is further attempting to enhance its crime reduction strategies by the appointment of a minister with responsibility of crime prevention with the objective of working with all parties, including political parties, to prepare a multifaceted, comprehensive, and inclusive national plan to address the growing citizen security challenge. The minister is instructed and expected to work with all responsible partners to develop a comprehensive national plan to address the root cause of criminal activity, particularly murders, gun-related crimes, gang warfare, and rivalry. The intention is to work with and use all existing plans, strategies, documents, and organizations that aim at making our country a more peaceful place. It is not our intention to reinvent the wheel, but to use the best practices applicable to our situation. The government of St. Lucia believes crime is only reduced when all civil and religious, religious organizations, including the media, are actively involved in crime suppression activities. I have assigned the portfolio of crime reduction to the newly appointed minister, Honorable Jeremiah Norbert, himself a former youthful, successful law enforcement official who is tasked with leading this ministry and will be well placed to understand the complexities and challenges that young people in our society face. As minister in the office of the Prime Minister, Honorable Jeremiah Norbert will work closely with me in fighting this scourge of criminality. I will continue to hold the portfolio of national security. As you are aware, there are many in our society who live with some form of disability, but continue to strive to play a meaningful role in the development of our country. I have decided to give support to enable the participation of this important demographic. By creating a specific portfolio headed by a minister in the office of the Prime Minister to enhance the opportunities and limit the threats that may, that may, include, that may exclude participation of these disabled citizens in our country. It is the policy of this government to afford all its citizens the enabling environment to achieve their full potential. I will assign this portfolio to the Honorable Jeremiah Norbert, who is an embodiment of the talent and potential of these disabled citizens. We are aware that Honorable Virginia Poyot, Minister of the Public Service, Home Affairs, Labor and Gender Affairs, is currently on medical leave after undergoing medical treatment. We wish the Honorable Minister well as she continues to recover. For the time being, I've assigned these portfolios of that ministry to the Honorable Jeremiah Norbert. I have full confidence in the Honorable Jeremiah Norbert and the Cabinet of Ministers looks forward to working with him as we remain focused on the development of our country. This addition to the cabinet is expected to bring added focus 
to the importance that government plays to citizen security and improving the lives of people in our country. We are determined to reduce the level of gun violence in St. Lucia. The new minister will be expected to focus on all suggestions, ideas, methods that are aimed at crime prevention and reduction. I pledge to continue to provide the police with resources and equipment while allowing them the operational space to bring this unacceptable situation to an end. I once more call on all St. Lucians to, al to align with the necessary objective of making our island a safe place to live and work. I thank you.